I'm the only one that is freaking tired of gnats everywhere. I love my house plants. I do not love the fungus gnats that come with them or any of the other little pests. They are awful, they're annoying, and they're not great for your plants either. So I've decided to combine what I have found to work best to keep gnats under control. So I'm gonna attempt to go here from probably what I find least effective to most effective. So what I would say the least effective is apple cider vinegar and dish soap. Put it in a glass, fill about halfway with apple cider vinegar, one drop of dish soap, cover that with some saran wrap, stick some holes in it. It will attract the gnats, they'll fly in, they'll get stuck. It works, not in a grand scheme of things though. So next, sand. Covering the tops of your soil with sand. This just keeps it from the gnats being able to burrow and lay eggs and the eggs that are already laid to, from being able to come out. It dries very quickly, it's just a deterrent. I say it works a little bit better than apple cider vinegar. A little better. Next, sticky traps. So you can get a box of these for very cheap on Amazon. It is literally a popsicle stick and then a little yellow piece. You peel the stickiness off, stick it on, stick it in the soil. The yellow apparently attracts the bugs. They stick to it and can't get off. Again, not the most effective, but more effective than others. Next, DE. Comes with a little squishy, puffy thingy. It is safe, it is natural. You can spray it on your plants. Um, basically, it's just ground up shells that kind of cuts up the soft tissue of the bugs and helps to deter them and get rid of them. So, again, more effective, very natural. I think it's like even food, yeah, food safe. So, I, I like it, it's not my favorite though. Next, neem oil. It does smell, so there's that. But spray it on your plants once a week, soak the soil in it pretty good. Um, basically spray it once a week until the problem is gone. This works for a lot more than just fungus gnats, so that's why it's a little higher up on my list. So next, mosquito bits. I love these. Um, you can basically put them in water and make a tea out of them and water your plants with it. It says just to sprinkle it on top of the soil. I honestly mix it right into my soil and I just use it as a preventative measure. Mix it right into the soil. Really like these. Um, they're called mosquito bits, but it says also controls fungus gnats and it does. I've noticed that a serious decline in fungus gnats since I have started using this. So I definitely recommend. And my number one, by far, is this. This is a systemic house plant insect control. Uh, sprinkle it on top of the soil, water it through. It also fertilizes. I have noticed that when I use this, it is by far the best out there at controlling. Again, it is not safe to use outside. It will kill pollinating bugs like our bees that we're trying to protect. But if you will have plants that are staying just inside, Basically, when I get a new plant, I sprinkle a little on top of the soil, add a little water to water it through once a month. This stuff is my favorite. All right, I will link all of these items down in the description. Um, basically, I've had a lot of issues with fungus gnats in the past. I've gotten them to a point now though that maybe I'll see one or two. So that is much better than where we were at in the beginning. Um, and these are just my personal opinion of what I think works very well. Um, I have tried all of these multiple times. And again, I think that the systemic is by far the best for indoor. Um, again, it is not safe for outdoor plants because it will kill bees, um, but it is great. So yeah, thank you so much for watching y'all. My name is Lindsay Andros. Um, if you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up and a comment. That really helps me out. Let me know what y'all think, what works for you. Miss you. Stop.
kind of trying to scratch the furniture. Um, and let me know what works for you. Also, um, if you would like to support my channel, please subscribe and you can always become a patron. I am an out of work bartender right now. You know, coronavirus is taking a lot of us uh, out of the workforce for the time being. So um, just becoming a patron gets you exclusive access to my content and it will thoroughly help me in being able to put out more videos. So yeah, thank you so much y'all. I love y'all. Bye.